What is up guys and welcome back to my channel. On today's vlog we are at the northernmost point of the island and I am going to be showing you around Jaffna. On this journey, one of our friends joined us with his vintage Mini Cooper and so we decided to visit some of the most scenic places along the way. The first thing that you need to know about visiting Jaffna is that it is an 8 to 10 hour journey by car if you're heading out of Colombo. And the journey itself is such a beautiful experience. at around 7 a.m. and arrived in Jaffna to witness this beautiful sunset. What is up guys and welcome back to my channel. On today's vlog we are in Jaffna at the beautiful Fox Resorts and I will show you guys more on the property soon but let's get started on our adventure. I'm so excited to be here. One of the most important locations that you should not miss out on when you visit Jaffna is the Nallur Kandasami Kovil. This Kovil is dedicated to the Lord Murugan and is one of the most holy and sacred places for Hindus all over the island. The Kovil has an annual festival that happens in August which attracts thousands of devotees and visitors from around the island. Unfortunately, we were not able to film inside for you guys because it is prohibited. However, I can explain to you only in my words how beautiful it is inside. It is so gorgeous with golden arches, symmetrical lines and lots of intricate designs, beautiful murals depicting the stories of this culture and I just cannot stress how important it is for you to visit here and I wish so hard that I could show it and share it with you guys but I have to respect the rules of the place. Please make note that you have to follow the same rules as you would if you were going to a temple for ladies, you know, something long that covers your shoulders as well as for the gentleman, you can wear a sarong or long pants but you must be topless. So no t-shirts for you guys and only when you are entering as well. In the times of kings, this area was known as the Jaffna Kingdom and Nallur, which is what the region is known as, served as the capital for this kingdom. And the royal palace used to be situated very close by. The original Kovil was built in 948 BC. However, in the 1600s during the invasion of the Portuguese, it was destroyed to its foundations. It was rebuilt later on, however, in a much less intricate style than to what it was originally. However, the reverence and holiness of this place still remains. We are now outside the Jaffna Library, which is one of Jaffna's most notable landmarks. At its peak, it was the largest library in Asia. The Jaffna Public Library is the second largest library in the country and second only to the Colombo Public Library. During the ethnic conflict of 1981, thousands of books were burnt in an arson attack. This was a huge loss not only to the people of Jaffna, but to Sri Lanka as a whole. Many ancient Sinhala and Tamil texts were destroyed and never recovered, meaning that we as Sri Lankans lost a huge chunk of our history. It pains me to think that we were able to put ourselves through something like that for whatever the reasons. In 2001, the renovation of the library was completed, with new structures built and new books received. However, the old books could not be replaced. Mantri Manai translates to Minister's House and is believed to be one of the places of residence of a minister of Kankili, King of Jaffna, before the fall of the Jaffna Kingdom to the Portuguese. Mantri Manai is built in a mixture of European and Dravidian architecture styles. There are many theories about the origin of this building. Some historians say that it could have been built during the Dutch period, referring to the building materials used. Alternatively, the ornamental work on the pillars, the capitals and the arched porch appear to belong to the Jaffna Kingdom's era. However it came to be, 
Mantri Manai stands as a testament to the skill and craftsmanship of ancient Jaffna and has been listed as one of the protected archaeological monuments in the Jaffna district by the Sri Lankan government in 2007. One thing you can't deny about Jaffna is that it is super hot out here. And maybe that's the reason why that the people of Jaffna kept recommending for me to come to Rio Ice Cream. Whenever we ask people where we should go and what we should do, see and eat, this spot came almost a hundred times in our recommendations list. And I definitely understand that this is something nostalgic and sentimental to the Jaffna folk. So we are here to try out some Rio Ice Cream. Yeah. So we have got uh, chocolate milkshake, strawberry milkshake, and I got myself an orange juice because I didn't really feel like having ice cream. So how is it? Mm. Super refreshing. Uh, honestly though, like, it's just a milkshake. Ah, uh, yeah? <laughs> but you know why it must be so... Yeah, I mean, I can understand why this place, I mean, look at it, it's packed. It's because this place is super hot and then on top of that, it's nice local ice cream. Yeah. Uh, makes sense why it's such a popular spot. Our next stop was the famous star-shaped Jaffna Dutch Fort, which is one of the most beautiful forts I've seen and one of my favorite sites in Sri Lanka. This fort changed hands many times. It was built by the Portuguese in the 1600s following the invasion of Jaffna and then it was captured by the Dutch who expanded upon it. It was then taken over by the British and remained under their control until 1948. Once the civil war began, it came under the LTTE from 1985 to 1995 and eventually was recaptured by the Sri Lankan army. Today it is open to visitors and being renovated with Dutch funding. However, I can't help but imagine how wonderful it would have looked in its prime. One of the most interesting facts about this fort is the materials used to build it. It has been built using coral to form bricks and you can even see the remnants of corals throughout the structure. is about 15 kilometers away from the Jaffna town and this place is absolutely stunning you guys it's right by the ocean and there's just a stone wall separating and navigating the water into this pool area it's divided into a male and a female section which is closed off but this is the best in my opinion such a nice place to come and have a sunset swim and it's very peaceful here because this is a part of a temple complex do come and have a dip here in the evening it's amazing you can have a you can meet some of the locals and have an amazing time been very lucky enough to meet a very long time subscriber come Ram <laughs> guys so Ram two dirty feet on Instagram has been uh, a part of our journey for a long time since we were yeah, in Bali right. no yeah yeah from 100 subscribers 100 YouTube subscribers oh man wow. thank you so much so do you like the content yeah really yeah so it's is like improving 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 <laughs> Like international content creator, oh, really. Thank like you it. so much, and thank you. For and also Shagan behind the camera. Yeah. We had a lot of things from the Shagan also. So he came in. Yes, I mean he came all this way. You went Karainagar, right? Yeah. 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 It's a bit far away, but he came here to meet us. So thank you so much, Rab. Thank you. It's so awesome to meet you, and thank you for your support. Sure, sure. The locals believe that the Kirimalai pond has healing properties for those who take a dip in it. Stories include people being healed of skin infections and more. As such, people travel a long distance to come here and be healed. On this day, however, it was just a group of boys having a lovely sunset swim.
Now it's time to show you guys the place we have chosen to stay here in Jaffna. This property is the ancestral home of a Jaffna native who is one of Sri Lanka's most successful businessmen, Kili Maharaja. When the war began, the LTTE took over this property and bunkers were built within the property. Towards the end of the war, the Sri Lankan army took over this property and used it as a base. Once the war ended, the property was returned to its rightful owner who turned it into this beautiful accommodation for visitors coming into Jaffna. Today, one of the bunkers has been turned into a museum which provides great insight into the life, culture and history of Jaffna and we learned a lot from it. The second bunker has been turned into an art gallery hosting Kili Maharaja's art collection which is the largest art collection owned by any individual on the island. One of the reasons that I love Fox Resorts in Jaffna is that unlike a lot of the other accommodation here, which are mostly city hotels, Fox Resorts has a very resort-like feel due to the large garden, this amazing pool and the scattered rooms, which you won't find anywhere else here. Now let's talk about the food at Fox Resorts. This place is awesome you guys if you want to have a taste of the western as well as the local side of things. So if you're staying here, you might not even have to venture out looking for good food because we've had everything we wanted right here. Jaffna crab curry, Jaffna cool, and now we're having a local breakfast of doses and idlis with all the local curries. So, it smells amazing. I can't wait to dig in. Good morning, guys. We are starting another long day here in Jaffna. Lots to discover, lots to explore. We are going to be going to Nagadipa first, which is an island um, with a beautiful cordial and a temple on it. Um, and then afterwards, we are hoping to go to a beautiful beach called Kasurina Beach or Kajurina Beach, as the locals call it. Let's get started. It's about 7.30 a.m. Yeah, set it to go. All ready. Sometimes it's easy to forget that the north is more than just Jaffna. There's so much more to see and so many towns and cities and so many islands that require ferries and bridges to connect them. Nagadipa Purana Vihare is an ancient Buddhist temple among the country's 16 holiest Buddhist shrines. According to contemporary history, the Gautama Buddha visited the site five years after attaining enlightenment to settle a dispute between two warring Naga kings, Chulodara and Mahodara. Chandaran's shop is right here. He has all these uh, 
carrying a lot of hydration water bottles whatever you need take your caps and your shawls don't wear a black t-shirt like shehan wear a white one or a light color you will be thankful for it while nagadeep is the singhalese name for this island nainativ is the tamil name and this is the nainativ nagapushani amman temple The temple is a significant symbol for the Tamil people and has been mentioned since antiquity in Tamil literature. The annual 16-day festival celebrated during June and July attracts over 100,000 pilgrims. The present structure, as beautiful and intricate as it is, was built in the 1700s. while the ancient structure was destroyed by the portuguese in the 1600s this temple attracts 1000 visitors a day and approximately 5000 visitors a day during the festival yes this kovil was beautiful but the people who have come to worship were dressed in such beautiful colors and such beautiful friendly smiles it made that an even better experience Jaffna you must try the local food and Malayan is one of the most highly recommended places that you guys told me to go check out so let's go in and check it out salty and delicious papadam chickpea curry some plant and chips absolutely delicious guys you must try it out this place is number one on your list of places to eat in jaffna for sure so we have to do our own drop off hey this is mushi no no so 
that was a fabulous meal. So delicious. We also got some sago to go with it. And you can have some rasam to start your meal if you want to. But yes, absolutely delicious. One thing to note is that when you eat here, you can get um, as many refills as you like, which is a great thing as well. Another thing you definitely shouldn't miss out on is to check out the market area. You can find some beautiful colorful saris and lots of other knickknacks that you don't even know that you need. But also one of the best things is that you can try some of the fresh fruit that grows right here in Jaffna as well as take a look at these beautiful artworks that have been done by the Jaffna community. Isn't this amazing? Arena Beach but when we arrived here at about 4 30 p.m. there was absolutely no one here the water is blue and beautiful and it was just so refreshing after all our activities in the Sun today to just have a dip so this place is awesome definitely put it on your list So now we are at the northernmost point of the island, Point Pedro. This is an awesome place to visit, especially if you've been to the southernmost point of the island, Dondra Head. Also, it's a little tricky to find this place. You need to look out for a boat called Sakotai Cape and then follow that. The Google Maps location led us to a different place and I thought I was at Point Pedro the last time I was here, but this is actually my first time here as well. So make sure you look out for that boat. I just want to share this message with you guys. This is the most perfect message that I can share with you through this channel. These are my hopes and dreams for the future of Sri Lanka and I really, really hope they come true. So when you are in Jaffna, make sure you come and check out this place for sure. We are now at the end of our Jaffna vlog you guys. Thank you so much for watching until the end. This has been a really special vlog for all of us and I urge you guys to come and visit Jaffna if you haven't already. As someone born during the 30 year long civil war, I am honored and grateful to be able to visit and see a part of the island that I wasn't sure when I would get to see growing up. And I am so happy to be here to learn about the culture, to meet the people and to learn about the history most importantly. If you haven't been here already, I urge you to come and visit and make sure you interact with the locals. They are really warm and welcoming and it's been an honour for me to meet them. I want to leave you guys with my deepest and most desired wish for this country and it is that we can all come together as one people, embrace our diversity, overcome our past and hopefully that we can create a country with a bright future for everybody that calls this island home. 
and with that i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit the bell notification button so you will know when our next video is out give us a like if you want to support us it really helps us and goes a long way and drop a comment on your way out and i will see you guys in the next one bye No fertilizers, right? Fresh. Smells good.